Jo, det är man om här. Welcome back. Du har fått att finna plats under tolv år sedan. And yeah, we're getting, we're getting there with the guild. We have no priest, here priest, hunter, retribution, paladin, and uh, I think that should we we only missing I think a second healer if that the druid is not respond, responding that much. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, the shaman who's leveling is a second healer, but he's not going to make it with slow and steady in time for that first curzon raid. But yeah. It will take a while to get uh, until that Karasan raid, but yeah, I'm skiing uh, in a week or something and I need to pre record a lot. And after I'm gone, I'm back, I'm visiting my sister, and then the weekend after is the first Karasan raid. Maybe, maybe we find someone until then. But yeah. Damn, he has a slow loading time. Okay. Uh, I feel like it's not the loading correctly. No, it is. Let's do this. Next. And yeah, we need an enchanter in the guild. Probably enchanting tailoring. And I, then I would help to get that um, the room rep to or not. I mean, friendly, I'll just help grind some iron bars or something uh, to push that there. And then if, or not do a dungeon, a few dungeon runs in Blackrock Depths. And then further as possible with the materials from Molten Core. But, but if you honored, you can also already enchant the 22 spirit on a weapon. Which is very helpful for most, for many casters. Mage will take that. I think at the beginning, I, w I would, if I were mage, I would take that over intellect at the beginning, I feel like. A priest will take that. Moonkin. Maybe, because I think they have regenerational casting too. Um, Druid obviously heal. Uh, and yeah, and on friendly you get a strength on weapon. That's not too too strong. We we would just go farm Crusader or just buy it. Because yeah, it's a world drop. So this is one of that I would make the enchanter farm for like three or four hours. And if he's, not, if he's not getting it, we buy it. Shouldn't be too difficult. What? Where I'm heading? I can further north. Okay. And yeah, I currently only have uh, the belt buckle enchantment that I can do myself as a paladin. Don't have any. Extreme ones yet. I'm only using agility currently, and then there's the armor kits that I just bought because yeah, that's just every every leather worker can craft that. I don't think we have one yet, right? Arm assist, nice. Uh, yeah, he is leather working. He's level level six, step dingo. Yeah, I can craft that with him with this charm, but yeah, he's hardcore mode, so I cannot trade, right? 
So this doesn't really work, but whatever. Uh, the the rugged armor kits, uh, everyone with rather working 250, I think, can craft that. So I don't count that as a problem because we are the extra rule with only use craftables that we can craft as a rate group, right? Uh, yeah, we have nobody in the rate group who can craft that yet, but the, uh, everyone who who's leather working and at that level can craft that then. So I don't feel like that's an issue. And it's, it's just very helpful for my tanking. 200 arm, no, 160 armor and 20 stamina. Right. Uh, no, 20 stamina, it's 5 points. That's, that's very helpful. For now. Might be better enchantments in the future on some of those items, but yeah. This quest shouldn't take too long here. Still and now I'm kind of interested how at what level will I be once I'm done with the pre-recording before my for my skiing trip. Because yeah, I'm not slow and steady anymore, right? So it shouldn't be that extremely slow. he was going to heal himself. Or heal the, t the other dudes. Okay. I mean, yeah, it's two weeks plus a little bit more. Will be interesting. I'm kind of still hoping that I can pre-record it all. I'll go further. I'll, I'll go further south. Those are too too easy here. And they're even lower. But yeah, those aren't right. Whatever. Then I just do them without. Uh, let's try it. I should be able to survive that. That was way too early. my heal potion but yeah it's, it's fine they don't do any dam damage
I mean, yeah, it's pretty farmed here, but there are plenty of those tiles, and those are higher, yeah. I think those are the ones that net, yeah, exactly. Need to be a little bit careful about that. Uh, on my Paladin I like fought like at last at level 59 like 10 of them. It was a long fight because though they had like healing totems and stuff. Took a while until they were dead. <laughs> I think I didn't use any any cooldowns in that fight back then on my paladin, so I was absolutely sure this is no problem. Even though I'm not getting anything killed right back then until they were um. And those Beastmasters spawn one of the pets. That's extremely annoying too. Okay, the pets don't have extra invisibility detection. Some have some some um <coughs> some pets have that, right? Scout doesn't have extra invisibility detection too. And here that's the spot where I fought all those mobs. I went through that ruin and fought them here. It was like a little bit too much. Don't want a healing ward, thanks. Yeah, those enemies aren't that nice. I, it's kind of restrictive with that, uh, with those enemies <coughs> being clumped together that much. But yeah, I think this one I can fight too. Boot crate. Yeah. What's in there? Just some hawk shanks. But yeah, the quest is done very soon. Because they have a pretty high drop rate over here. That's it. Okay, let's go over there. And then I'll... Uh, I don't think you can get out of here with, through, over that ledge over there. I'll just go this direction then. <coughs> Oh yeah, right, now we're at the, that spot. Now I can just head west and go to those jungle stalkers. Uh, jungle stalkers, right? DB, jungle, store, sounds like an invisible one, so I'll mark it. Nope, it's not. <coughs> You can farm those for 
think it's frost resistance. Ten, ten extra frost resistance as a consumable. Ah, those are the ones. Okay. Nothing invisible, it's just a stalker because of the long legs. Oh, my inventory is full. <laughs> um, yeah, let's just sell it here. Yeah, I kind of want to keep that. Don't need that, can get rid of that. Intellect, yeah, I don't need that. Uh, some big healing potions, yeah, let's keep them. So, uh, blending powder, I got enough here. Oh yeah, there's a box that I can open again. Let's craft those real quick. I'm using that to get uh, a little bit more gold out of the silk cloth. I mean one silver each, uh, each craft. 50 copper each silk cloth. I mean, obviously in the auction house it should be more, but there's no way I can hold enough of that silk cloth until I'm level 60. Two minutes sell it. And then obviously holding the better cloth would be more worth per inventory slot. Interesting, those jungle stalkers have feathers. Interesting. So they are birds. Whatever, I'll skin it. I think getting the heavy leather might be actually useful for someone who in the guild later on who wants to push through them. It'll take it quite a while to get this chart to level 60, but it's not endless anymore. <clears throat> so, even if I just run out of quests and grind, right? It's like... Even if I were to grind like oh, I did on my Druid, because this is not slow and steady, it should be around the same speed. I feel like the last level is only two weeks, right? <laughs> only in. Because yeah, on my Druid it was six hours study, the last level, just grinding mobs. But I think the, the druid was a little bit faster because here yeah, on the druid you get attack, uh, damage on your on your melee hit every level up. In in cat form, so it's not going to happen with this char. So, yeah. But I think on this char, every level up, you get much better hit chances with the offhand on enemies in that area then, technically. Oh, whatever. Okay, yeah, he's, he was right. It's it's the peak peak time of the server currently. Plenty of people around here, yeah. He got dotted already. Oh, is it ready yet? I can't use that 
So yeah, after this episode I'll take a short break and continue a little bit later. Maybe not in the peak time anymore. Would be helpful. Because I'm just wasting time uh, because people are farming the same quests. I can't... It's, it's really not well how I want to do this. I mean at the beginning, yeah, uh, with the rogue and, and barons and stuff, I waited plenty of time for mobs to spawn, but back then I was cutting uh, most of the time, and that, uh, if that happens. Oh yeah, I think I didn't do all those uh, quests. Yeah, I think the elite quests I skipped for Tethys and stuff like. He's over there, you know, 5k. Should be somewhat doable with all poison and buff food, maybe. Maybe one more level up with the enraged effect, I'll do that. That should be doable then, actually. Yeah, with evasion, this, blade flurry and enraged effect, I think I can beat those elites. Yeah, it's a different thing to kill one named uh, quest elite or kill like 10, like over there, the ogres for the key. For Maori's club key or something. Okay, perfect. Quest is done. I'll just head back there, turn that in, get on the flight back over there. How many quests do I have finished now on this jar? 765, okay. I got 1150 or something on my paladin done now. I think at 1700 or 1800 you get the title, the first one for quests completed. It's... Yeah. And then there's a second one with, well, for 2800, which is obviously much better. Uh, looking at that name, it's probably Russian, right? A Russian attack, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I asked him if any special fish in here. Maybe he's trying to get that quest. Because uh, I don't yet know 100% where the new two special fishes are. Those 14 stamina and spirit fish. Because yeah, they are obviously very useful. If you get them in big numbers. Edge Gorilla Sinew. That's over there. That's not an elite. Just 15% drop rate, okay. <coughs> so I'll just fly back to Booty Bay, turn it in there, and next episode and continue with this one. Thanks for watching, see you next time. Bye.